Rise Royals. All right, let's go in and let's see what's going on inside of your twin flame connection. If you're new here, welcome. I am your favorite goddess, Goddess Platinum, and you have made it to the home of the twin flames, you guys. Now, check it out. So, I feel like somebody wants to butter you up, okay? Especially with this snookums at the top of the deck, okay? So, let's just dive straight on in. Thank you guys for being here. I already said that, but I'm saying it again. Because <laughs> I really, truly mean it. Okay. So take me in, Spirit. What's going on here? What is going on here? Okay. So we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. And then we have the eight of cups all right so mm -hmm. definitely feel like somebody is in a uh, uh a giving energy didn't i tell you somebody wants to butter you up right right somebody wants to butter you up somebody wants to uh kind of pamper you a little bit maybe right show you a good time right because the eight of cups is all about um Someone walking away from, um, like, an investment. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if this person walks away from an investment, they're definitely coming your way, okay? I feel like this person probably kind of withdrew themselves from this connection at one point in time. But, baby, they coming back around. Yeah, they trying to, they, they trying to bend the block again. <laughs> Or spin the block again. <laughs> okay, yeah, they, they definitely want to spin the block again. Okay, um, mm, okay, spin the block, butter you up, mm -hmm. right? Because they see you healing. They see you healing with this temperance out here. <clears throat> they see you taking things slow, trying to balance things out right you're doing things in moderation right you ain't you're not blowing up this person's phone like you used to right if you are in contact with this person it's very very moderate it's not it's not much communication at all okay and that's because you are healing at this time divine feminine right you're finding the harmony within yourself when it comes to uh, this temperance, right? Temperance is all about um, unconditional love for oneself, right? Right? Loving yourself unconditionally. And this is where you are. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is what your person sees. <clears throat> okay. We also have the Ten of Pentacles out here. Right, so I feel like, um, somebody is working on some wealth, honey. Yeah, right, it's like you, divine feminine, you are working on your long term success, right? Your stability, right? Your home, okay? A lot of you maybe just purchased a new home, or maybe you're just, you know. Um, trying to get things together in your home. I, I I see and feel a lot of energy around nesting. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going into colder, uh, colder days, right? Fall is approaching, all right? If you're watching this video at the time I posted it. <laughs> if not, then that's okay. You can still resonate. This is a timeless reading. Okay, but yeah, I see a lot of nesting going on, especially with, uh, like I said, fall approaching here. Okay, mm -hmm. we got the three of wands out here. Okay, so somebody is definitely uh, <laughs> in preparation, right? You're doing a lot of preparation right now, Divine Feminine. Okay, I feel like... Um, you know, closing out this year, going into the new year, you're just like, look, it's going to be all about me. If no one 
is going to come into my life and give me reciprocity, right? If they're not going to give me what I am giving them, I'm cutting them off, right? Right? That everybody's getting cut off. If I if I can't get back what I'm putting out, and not to say, because <clears throat> I don't want y'all to get this confused, not to say that you give to get. No, you don't give to get. But you don't give and give and give and don't get get nothing from it either. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be naive. Okay? We don't want that. All right? So, yeah, you're, uh, you're going into a new chapter of your life is what I'm seeing. Mm, okay? It's been lots of progress here, too. Lots of moving forward. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Okay. Give me some more energy, spirit. Mm, tower. Right? After something hit the ground, definitely. Right? After something hit the ground, Divine Feminine, your temperance kicked in. Right? Your love for yourself kicked in. You know, and I feel like um, it kicked in fast and you were able to learn this lesson pretty fast because you have been through... Uh, several connections and relationships with people that have not worked out and you have learned from each and every single one of these people, right? You have learned something from each and every single person that you have been with, <clears throat> right? And you're starting to realize this, like, it wasn't a waste of time. <laughs> it wasn't a waste of time because I actually learned something from that connection, you know what I'm saying? Had I not ran up on this this energy and, you know, had they not done me so bad, I would probably still be in that place right now, still letting people run over me, right? Still letting people use me, still letting people <clears throat> use me as a doormat, use me as a, a, a placeholder, Okay. And so, um, and I'm not talking about, uh, you know, this particularly being your twin flame. This could have been other connections, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about connections way before you met your twin flame, okay? Because a twin flame is not going to use you as a doormat. You know what I'm saying? A, a twin flame is not going to be physically abusive to you. They're not going to be emotionally abusive. Uh, well, not emotionally, but verbally abusive to you, okay? Um, but they definitely still have things to work on, okay? We're not going to sit here and say that a twin flame is just absolutely perfect because they are not. <laughs> they are not, all right? Let's see who it is that we're connecting with. Okay, <clears throat> so we have Cancer, Libra. Okay, Libra is out here. Capricorn is out here. Mm -hmm. We got Aries. Aquarius. And let's grab one more. And then we have Virgo. Okay. Just to give y'all a little more clarification. All right, let's go a little deeper. Let's go a little deeper. Give me some more energy. Look at this. Decisions. Okay, so the decisions aren't doing anything but literally just confirming this three of wands, okay? So there are things that you have uh, in preparation, Divine Feminine, okay? When it comes to you, I feel like this reading is definitely about you today, okay? Um, like I said, uh, you have been progressing beautifully, right? Now, there may be some decisions that are going to be coming up, Okay, that you're going to have to make a a, a a choice. Am I going to go left or am I going to go right? I mean, both roads look pretty much the same. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like one road is going to get you to where you need to go faster. Okay, that's what I'm hearing from spirit. Right? I'm hearing that there is no right or wrong road. But one is going to, you know, get you to your destination a little quicker right <clears throat> it's going to be a little more fulfilling both roads are going to be fulfilling but one is going to be a little more 
fulfilling. It's going to be a, a little quicker and less work. Okay. So you will be the, 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 the deciding factor. Okay. In this, I'm hearing that somebody lives in a rainy state. Okay. Like it rains all the time. Okay. I'm not sure where this is, but yeah, cassette is coming up y'all. <laughs> uh, okay. So somebody is definitely playing something over and over and over in their heads. Okay. And this has got to be your divine masculine. It has to be right. Because remember we saw the eight of cups come out and this is somebody that is leaving, right? An investment, right? The investment could have been a family. The investment could have been, uh, you know, a, a husband or a wife. The investment could have been a job. Somebody's leaving an investment to come your way. And they're coming your way because they know they didn't give you reciprocity in the past, right? <clears throat> they know that they were not a healed person. And they know that they were the cause of this tower, okay? They know this. And so... I feel like with this tower out here, they definitely replay over and over and over and over, okay, what happened here, right? And what happened here wasn't fair to you. That's what I'm hearing. It wasn't fair to you. So, right, so now, um, you know, that's why I feel like this temperance is definitely here because you're trying to find the balance, right? Right. You're trying to bring more stability into your life because you know you deserve that, right? You don't deserve someone to be in your life that is not going to be solid with you, okay? And we also have goddess of the moon, okay? So with this goddess of the moon out here, mm -hmm, I definitely feel like you, Divine Feminine, you keep a lot of stuff to yourself, Right. Like I said, when it comes to your divine masculine, you're starting to keep those feelings to yourself. You're starting to hold back those calls. You're starting to hold back those tears. Right. And <clears throat> you're just like, OK, I think I'm going to embrace um, the moon energy. Right. Which is the feminine energy. I'm going to start tapping in, right? I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely paying more attention to the moon, right? The moon cycles. I'm hearing the moon cycles. I'm hearing um, when the full moons come up, you know, you're you're on Google and you're looking up what uh, what what moon is is for uh, the particular month that you're in. <laughs> Right. And it's very interesting to you. Like it's like the moon is drawing on your energy. Right. You got <clears throat> you're both playing on each other's energy. Fifty two could be significant. OK, break it down to seven. Let's see. What is this on the table? See this? See this? There's going to be an offer. OK, because we already see this coming in. Okay, especially with this Eight of Cups out here and this Three of Wands, right? This cassette playing things over and over, this decisions out here. So, yeah, it's no surprise that offer, an offer or a commitment or even, even a proposal is going to be on the table here for someone. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be on the table for someone. And you know why? Because you guys literally see and feel each other on a soul level, right? Your soul is preparing. Look, it already says it. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust the process. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so somebody is literally coming back to put an offer on the table for you, right? Somebody is literally coming back and saying, you know, I couldn't give you what you wanted back then, but I feel like I'm in the position to do it now. Right? That's beautiful. This is someone that, you know what I'm saying? Throughout the day, you can feel this person because that's what a twin flame connection does, right? You can literally feel 
uh, what this person is doing, what this person is thinking, how this person is moving, if they're thinking about you, right? If something significant has happened in, in their life, you can feel all of this energy, okay? Coming from your divine masculine. I also feel like you, you feel this offer coming as well, okay? Now, mm, there was a lot of illusions around this connection, okay? It says, avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection, okay? So, <clears throat> I feel like when it comes to this, um, your mind was playing tricks on you, okay? Your mind was definitely pay playing tricks on you. And um, a lot of people feel like this on the Twin Flame journey. It's like, is this my person or not? You know what I mean? And I feel like you went round and round and round with that too. Like, is this an illusion? Is this real? Do I feel this? Right? Is this a trap? Is this just fantasy? No. No, this isn't a trap. This isn't just fantasy, right? The twin flame connection is not just a fantasy thing, <laughs> right? You know what you feel, right? And if you know that this person feels the exact same way as you, then, okay, there's your answer. You know what I mean? But, but you know, there are some people out here that are going after somebody that they completely do not know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They completely do not know and they know either they completely don't know this person or um, they know that this person don't feel the same way that they do. Okay, that's not a twin flame. We can't make somebody be a twin flame if they're not a twin flame. All right. So, yeah. Um. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why do I always pull these cards? Mm -hmm. You're doing great things in the world. Okay, that's what I'm going to take from it. Because this is this is clearly like not... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> You're doing great things in the world, okay? This is what Spirit wants you to know, Divine Feminine. Right? You've been working on yourself. Right? Getting your money up. Right. Uh, looking at uh, I hear for some of you, you definitely are doing a lot of journaling. Right. You're writing your your long term goals down. Um, and when you write them down, it kind of like manifests a lot quicker. You know, um, definitely feel like that's tapping into this energy as well. Right. Writing down your goals checking everything off so that you can kind of stay on track here okay because we don't want to go down the wrong road i mean there's not a wrong road but we don't want to go down the road that's slower <laughs> okay um so let's go a little deeper we're gonna get a little more specific okay Right, so this is definitely somebody that you had a past heartbreak with. <sighs> Excuse me. Right? <clears throat> Somebody's working on their credit. Somebody's like, look, huh, by the end of this year, the beginning of next year, or next year, my credit's going to be great. I'm going to be able to purchase whatever I want. Right? So I do see somebody working on their credit. Right? Didn't I say somebody was like uh, working on a home or something like that? Working in their home. Trying to get their life together. Trying to stay on track. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just saw a cat lover. Look, we, look what we got popping on out. Lotus flower. Okay, so... What I'm picking up with lotus flower is that somebody somebody smokes lotus. Mm -hmm. The purple flower. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm also picking up 18 plus energy. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely head over to the comment section. 
and click on the link. Okay? Because somebody think about your flower, honey. Mm-hmm. They are. They are. But didn't I say I didn't I say I saw a cat lover and then <laughs> it comes out. Okay, so somebody definitely has a cat. Somebody definitely has a cat. If you have a cat, let me know. Put your cat's name down in the comment section. I would really love to know. Um, as a lot of you already know, I had a cat. His name was Amethyst. I had him for four years. Uh, he was an inside outside cat. And one day he just never came back. Um, I still have hope though. I still have hope that I'll see him at my door. Uh, one day, <clears throat> but I miss him so much. I do. I miss him so, so much. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we got rainbow. Didn't I say that it rains somewhere? I said that earlier. I said somebody lives where it rains a lot. And then rainbow comes out. That is too funny. <clears throat> that is too, too funny. Okay, that's too many. It's too many spirit. That's too many. Okay. Likes to drink. Okay, so somebody likes to drink and smoke. Okay, Divine Feminine is not looking for a handout. See, they already know that about you, Divine Feminine. They know that you're not looking for a handout. They know that you're not with them for, for their money. You know, you're not with them to use them. You're not uh, looking for them to um supply your every need like get your hair done get your nails and you're not looking for none of that you're like i can do that on my own i mean if you want to help me do that then okay that's a different story i don't have no problem with that but you're not looking for somebody to just give you handouts all day every day like you're the type of person like i said you um <clears throat> you're working on your long-term goals you're your go-getter divine feminine you know uh you are working towards a lot of wealth here okay october is significant okay this could be somebody's birthday okay maybe this person may contact you in october mm -hmm. october could be somebody's favorite month so october could be somebody's name <laughs> okay okay I won't allow you to take me to rooms anymore, okay? Maybe this is what this person started off doing. And you were just like, um, why can't you take me to your house? Period. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a, I'm not a go, let's go get a room type of chick. You know, I mean, it was it, it it was fun at the beginning. I allowed it, and I probably shouldn't have. Okay, but I feel like you got to the point where you were just like, um, oh, I see smokes weed down there on the floor, y'all. <laughs> didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you somebody smokes lotus? Okay, I mean, that's a flower. Okay. They're all flowers. <sighs> Let's see. Likes to drink. Give me some more energy. Cooks. Oh, I'm hearing that this person wants to cook for you. Okay. This is a divine masculine that cooks. Mm, they can throw down a mean, a mean dish. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're not playing in the kitchen. This is somebody that like to eat. Okay, we also have Wednesday. I'm getting the movie Wednesday. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Like the Adams Family movie. Okay, and then we also have Protective. So this person is extremely protective over you, Divine Feminine. Right? Emoji relationship. You know, I feel like at the beginning, this could have been a bit of a an emoji relationship. You know what I'm saying? All y'all did was send each other emojis every day or or just like um um 
what is it off of uh you know the little the, the videos you know how you share videos on instagram share the funny videos something like that it, it, it just was it got to a point to where you were not physically speaking to this person on the phone like it was just like okay i need you to pick up the phone and call like it just started getting crazy right it just started getting all kinds of crazy look won't last so yeah people were doubting your connection mm -hmm. people were definitely doubting it but they can doubt it all they want to baby they don't know nothing about this do they they don't know nothing of my business <laughs> mind your business mind yours Okay, look, a life free of arguments, okay? This is what y'all both want, right? I believe that the both of you don't like to argue, you know? And, and this is the type of life you, you guys are both going for, right? Like, we we are not going to be doing that. We're too old to be doing that, okay? We're too mature to be doing that. And somebody has uh, caramel skin, Okay. So let's see, is there anything else, Spirit? Is there anything else this person wants to say? Forgiveness, okay, they want your forgiveness. Give me some more energy. I haven't used these in so long. Solitude, okay? So this person has definitely been, you know, um, in solitude, right? More for healing, right? They said they have great memories with you. They have such beautiful beautiful memories with you divine feminine okay and somebody got a fake account baby they watching you yeah they watching you you ain't getting away you're not getting away <laughs> okay so these were the messages that came out for you if you resonated with any of this be sure to hit that like button for your girl it is the easiest way to support the channel better yet share the video with someone you feel may need the message Again, if you guys are looking for my 18 plus, hit the comment section. Hit that link in my comment section. If you're looking for protection branklets, okay, go to riseroyals.com. And if you would like a personal reading with me, all my information will be in the description box below as well as the bio. All right. I love you guys so, so much. It's your favorite goddess, Goddess Platinum, and I'm out.